How did you get into racing in the first place? I got my first go-kart for kindergarten graduation. Um, my dad was into cars and you know, as, as, uh, as I grew up, I was always around the race cars. He was a fireman uh, as his primary job and worked on cars on the side to, uh, to make some extra money. So uh, when I was in kindergarten, I got, I guess I was five or six and got my first go-kart and started in a, in a dirt field uh, so I could learn right from left and gas from brake. Do you remember the fifth grade poster project? You, you created a poster like, I guess, charting your ascension through NASCAR oh, yeah. that you were gonna be a yeah. NASCAR champion someday? Yeah, well, I think at that particular time it was an IndyCar champion. An IndyCar yeah. champion, okay. I wanted to win the Indy 500, so, um, you know, growing up as a kid, I grew up in Bakersfield, California, so I wanted to be, Rick Mears was my idol. And that was the guy that, that had won four Indy 500s, winning IndyCar races, and uh, being from the same town, that was what you wanted to do. But uh, as I grew up, you know, my dad didn't really want to have anything to do with putting me in anything open wheel, even though that we race go-karts. Uh, but open wheel, bigger cars, he thought were unsafe. So it was always pushed down the, down the stock car road. But how tight were things financially? Oh, we we um, we had some we had very tight financials growing up as a kid. Um, you know, I think as as you look back and, and realize what you were going through at, at the at that particular time, um, they did a good job of of not letting my sister and I know exactly um, you know probably how tight things were. But I knew from how we raced our go karts that. Um, you know, five or six hundred bucks here and there to, to, to get to a race was, was a pretty big deal. Um, and, and we didn't always get to go race as, a, as, as we wanted to because we couldn't afford to, to drive up and down the road and, and pay for the motors and cart tires and all the things that came with it. How do you think going through those tight financial times has impacted you later in life? I think it's, um, you know, for me, I had my first checkbook when I was in the fourth grade. So uh, that, was, that was one thing that my dad did very well was I wrote the checks and paid all the bills for the racing team or the go-kart teams or late model teams, whatever it was. I had to balance the checkbook. I had to pay the bills. I had to make sure that, you know, if we didn't have any money, you were gonna, he made me call the sponsors and, and um, you know, ask for money myself in, in order to, to keep racing. So I've always been pretty aware of, of where we were financially and where our money was going and, and how it was going and who it was going to and who was touching it. Um, so uh, I've always been a little bit paranoid because you know things financially were, were obviously pretty tight growing up, but um, you know, I think that's also helped um, give, give a great perspective on, on how to deal with the money that you make now.